Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to the shop. Today I want to talk about why in the world would I use all these hand tools when power tools exist out there. So let's take a look at it. So first off, let's set the record straight. I do own power tools. I have this massive Triton power planer, which I, I use rather regularly. I have a table saw upstairs. I do own a couple routers. I have a belt sander. I have a sharpening system, and I have several other things like that that fall under the category of power tools. Uh, I, I, I don't eschew power tools. I don't turn them away. Uh, the main reason why I only use hand tools in my videos is because this is a hand tool channel, and I'm teaching how hand tools are used used. If I use power tools, then I'm not teaching how the hand tools are used. If I ever end up using a power tool for a project, it ends up in the video. And a lot of times it's one of those shtick moments of like, oh, Luke, cut that out. We don't want to show the power tools. Um, it's just kind of a fun running joke. Um, so there are occasions where I pull out a power tool, even though I'm all hand tools in the shop. That being said, if I didn't have an all hand tools channel, I would probably be solidly hybrid. I would do a lot of my major work on power tools, and then I would bring it down to the bench and I would do all of my detail work and the fine joinery and the finishing on that. There's just a lot of times where you need to do a lot of stock removal where a power tool is more efficient and a little more fun. And that brings me to my next point. One of the big reasons why I use hand tools is they're more fun. They're quieter, there's less noise, they're safer, they're just all around more enjoyable. And so sometimes when I'm doing long rips, I'm gonna opt for a handsaw because I find this to be far more enjoyable than using a power saw. And for that, you can officially join my father in calling me crazy. But yes, there are times where I find doing something slower and the more monotonous way to be more enjoyable. It's just kind of nice to slow down and smell the wood and, and feel what's going on as opposed to just getting the work done. There's just something about feeling the wood. Something about kind of learning the grain direction and how the wood is going. Something about that is incredibly enjoyable. And this is, this is beautiful. You, you can't get this from sanding. You can't get this from a table saw. This is addictive. Getting to know the wood, getting to know how it feels, is something that is very, well, fun. But if I have to take off a full inch of material and do it a half a thousandth at a time, that might not be so much fun. And that kind of brings me to my main point. If you are someone who is building furniture for a living, you are creating products to sell them and that is part of your job, and completing the task is the goal, then in that case, you're probably gonna to wanna to use more power tools than hand tools because they are more efficient, they are faster. They do help guide you to a specific accuracy every time. Every cut is gonna be the same because the jig has been set up that way. With a handsaw, yeah, the cuts are gonna be wherever your hand put the cut. And so if you're building something to build a project, you're gonna to wanna to use more power tools. Now there are a few times where a hand tool is a faster, more efficient way of doing it, but those are pretty slim. And they usually are at times where setting up a jig is a lot of a pain. For instance, if I ever wanna cut a quarter by quarter by quarter groove, I'm gonna grab a preset grooving plane that's all set up to go, and this will cut a quarter inch wide groove, a quarter inch deep, a quarter inch in from the side. I grab this, and in 30 seconds, I've got my groove all done and ready to go. I couldn't have even thought of setting up a router plane in that amount of time. And so there are a few occasions where hand tools are faster and more efficient, but they're pretty slim. And then this brings me back to the saw bench because hand tools are not about getting the project done. They're about each individual step, making the saw cut, making every curl, making that planing job. When the step is fun, then who cares about the project? Have fun with the actual woodwork. I want every step I take along the way to be enjoyable. And that's usually the rubric I choose for, do I use a power tool, do I use a hand tool, what method I'm gonna to use to create this particular step. I don't ask myself what is the fastest or the most efficient way of doing it. I ask myself, what do I want to do? What's the method that I find enjoyable? And for me, 90 plus percent of the time, it's a hand tool because they're quieter, they're simpler, they give you curls, they are enjoyable. 
And this was the reason I got into hand tools in the first place. My shop was 10 foot by 10 foot. I didn't have a space for a table saw, a joiner, a planer. I had walls on all sides. I was in the basement of my house, so I couldn't create a lot of dust that was going to get all throughout the house. So I had to have something that creates curls rather than dust. I had three kids who were all home at the same time, and that meant I wanted them to be in the shop. I wanted them to be safe. I wanted something that wasn't loud. I wanted something that they could have in nap times. And for all those, hand tools really fit the bill. And for me, it was great because I could go down to my shop anytime I wanted to. I could make curls all day long without disturbing the rest of the family and have a lot of fun with it. So, should you become an all hand tools woodworker? Uh, no. Uh, there are very, very, very few people out there who can do all hand tools. The nice thing about that is you can see a project afterwards and be like, yeah, I made that with all hand tools. Um, it is a nice bragging point, but that's about it. If I didn't have an all hand tools channel, I would probably be using a lot more power tools. I do still bring them out from time to time when I need to get a video out on time. I've got to save some time, I'll pull out a power tool and I'm going to show it if I use it. So I ask yourself, do you find curls worth your time? Do you find that you get more pleasure out of being precise with your hands as opposed to being precise with a jig? That's really the main reason why you would choose hand tools over power tools. There are a few instances where a hand tool is faster and more efficient, but those are pretty slim. So unless you're a professional woodworker, I would ask you which one gives you more joy. Is it learning how to do something by hand where your hand is the jig and what's guiding it? Or is it learning something that's faster, more efficient and gets you to your goal on time? These are things you gotta balance out and everyone's going to be a little bit different along that spectrum. So find yourself along that and you might be surprised uh, what you start choosing because if you look at something by what would give me the most enjoyment, well, that's really the goal of having the shop is the enjoyment you get out of it, not the projects you pull out of it. So I hope you like this slightly more philosophical uh, episode. This is a very different for me, but I, this is a question that comes up all the time. Why in the world would I use hand tools? Well, because I find them to be more enjoyable and I have an all hand tools channel. So it wouldn't help if I brought up power tools on an all hand tools channel. But who knows what the future will hold. Maybe I'll start another channel where I do a hybrid woodworking and show multiple different ways of doing it. So I hope this uh, tickled your brain a little bit and I'd love to hear where do you fall along that spectrum? What power tools do you use all the time and what hand tools do you use all the time? And what's kind of that gray area for you? It's gonna be in a different place for everyone. Let me know that down below, I'd love to hear that. Also, I wanna say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why Wood by Right is here. I know I say that every week, but it is so true. Without Patreon and the support of members here on YouTube, this channel would not exist. So thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about that, click the link down below. Also say thank you to everyone scrolling over here on the side. They're helping make the channel continue. So I hope this tickled your fancy a little bit. And until next time, have a wonderful day. So you gotta ask yourself, at what point in your muscular development does a hand tool stop being a hand tool and start being a power tool?